It's been a long time that I've been thinking about texture. Wood fire really is about texture. There's the obvious kind of texture, the sort of tactile texture, the visual texture. We look at those all the time, we see them. Most of us got into wood firing through stoneware glazes which really are about those visual kinds of texture. But in wood firing it can become a little bit more tactile. There's other kinds of texture. And uh, I think that as I think about this more and more, the other kinds of texture become more How much more whiskey more does it important. take to fire a kiln? Uh, I don't understand, guy. <laughs> One kiln, how many bottles of whiskey? One kiln. There's one. emotional textures. How many bottles of whiskey? I know it takes oh, lots of wood. Processes yeah, have one textures. Kiln, how much whiskey? Three bottles, two? No, one. But one there bottle is enough. Your yes, yes, the yes. way you work okay. and how you work. Enough, but in. Maybe. Uh, texture is really Maybe. just Maybe. a semi, semi-random pattern. Feels like we're sitting at home on the couch. There is a structure to textures. And that same structure, when it happens in the way we work, or the way we think, or the way we feel, well, so do you like the physical labor textural. of this uh, this craft? Is yeah, that good? I think I'm insane. <laughs> And it really is. Um, you no know, painters, they don't have to do any of this. Synonymous once you start to think about it. I mean, if they were real painters, I, I, I think they'd be weaving their canvas. Yeah. Grinding their pigments. They should. Grinding their pigments. I think a lot Squeezing about their linseed. the kinds of texture that we yeah, that's right. come what in contact with in the. Uh, Modern world. I mean, here it is, you know. I think that there is generally a flattening of things. You ever done that? Yeah. Uh, it's not just the uh, places we live. And all you have to do is look at the houses we live in. They are just boxes. Just flat boxes. Flat walls, the flatter the better. Occasionally. Someone puts a little speckle. It's got some interest on the wall. But that just covers yeah, them. Build we can't build make them perfectly yeah, flat, cheaply. Right. But if we could, we would. Poor Micah. And there we polish I don't know, even I think granite. I like it than gas. We polish it like so that we can have more control like, over no, the surface, so that we can clean it. Right? We need stone. the control. I work with stone. I stack stones. Well, stones are it makes our lives I easy. Yeah, it also makes our lives flat. Right. Yeah, I don't like the finished stuff. I do all the structure. I'm a structure guy. And it's so there is. Either, but, but the ceramist, yes, yeah, stone ceramist. The ceramist. The tactile flatness that comes along with the visual flatness. The wood soda or the doing uh, order. Yeah. And well, our foods are flat. We go yeah. all to the same depths, grocery depths store. Can, but we the wood buy soda the same might be things. Why? Because it's more convenient. It it's be cheaper. Because it then the clay, you'll get a, the easier. clay will it get takes less some color. labor. Yeah, that's Just like right. polished granite. But the takes blue, less labor. you know, the blue yeah. might go rough stone. What about green? To eat it's off okay. of. Just yeah. make but it more, blue. Yeah. It's more blue. Make it more and so, more in blue. all aspects yeah. of our lives, like well, we can look. We can look at my glazes. We are gaining okay. flatness. Yeah, I just like to see something we congregate yeah. in flatter okay. and flatter Let's do that. society. So then we need a disc. We, need we find disc people on, of common uh, interest on the day. net. We talk with them. It's flat. We don't need to best the Buddha. So you can go in the wood kiln. No, in many no ways, there were other kinds of flatness that took place. But, the, but I think, yeah. in an overall sense, okay. 
maybe there is more flatness now hey Josh. in the way we live our lives. Where are you taking Suwanee tonight? Yes. When you look at Japanese houses, Japanese okay, houses can. have oh, for a very long time. Yeah. Well, the three pieces and you can, well, we can dance. When are you going to be and done? An aesthetic sense of flatness, of emptiness. Sure, there were textures and they used natural materials, but things were empty, devoid of objects. And yet they felt the need to have some little icons, some little textural objects, tea bowls, little nooks, tea gardens, tea houses, little places. It's not yours sort of some exciters, things that would texturalize the emptiness. And I think in some ways, exactly. this is yeah. what the, uh, wood pots and wood fire. You know, the ones where they're really discolored, where it starts to destroy the, the surface does for society the, the ones function they don't it like serves, so much, uh, is a texturalizer really that, so. there's, there's of an otherwise flat, and textureless state that we find ourselves in. I really get a lot of thought. I get to, sp I spend a lot of time thinking about those styrofoam cups. Not the plain ones anymore. I used to think about the plain ones. Now I think about the ones with the little band of decoration that goes around the top. And how Our lame it is in terms the, of decoration uh, and how little propped up on, on green sticks. It does for the sort of oh is this and a good looking cup. Forty five minutes after a, an hour or so. And how much it says just to dry them out completely. But they're very thin. They're about our need. Inch, eighth inch. You Not just they, desire, they but any, need. I mean, how do they feel about the electric fire? I think they like the evenness of it. To I give they, texture. They definitely don't like the to surface. Because they've done a the huge world amount of painting live on in. these, and they really like it's that almost this colored surface. Um, they are very careful. This this fire. colossal competition between the attempt to flatten for the sake of efficiency and the need to texturalize oh, really for if you believe in such things you get, uh, for your soul to texturalize so that there's meaning i actually think that it's important to you find are. meaning okay, we're not filming your even if it doesn't really matter i think it's the beer. only way we survive the only way we um, is beer an important part of wood fire? truly are able to entertain ourselves is that orange beer? They've done research on that and they found is that to that find the meaning, flows, uh, better than fire. Yeah. even when the meaning doesn't matter. Could you say that again for the camera? Wood kill. They said they've done a lot of research on this and they found out that the more beer flows during wood People firing, talk about the, the sense of fire. community. Higher quality. And I'm sure there are those. Who believe that burning wood is better for the environment than burning gas. Who believe somehow that handmade pots save the world by reducing energy costs. I just can't believe it because it takes very little energy to produce a cheap ceramic cup industrially. Even with transportation, we just can't possibly compete. But wood firing pots and having people buy wood fired pots may, in fact, provide educational value. It's always a fallacy to think of uh, that does eventually. One reason. save energy. How do you feel about all this control you have over there other never really is one. Process. I mean, yeah, one anything. One fire. reason. I feel like I have um, reasons I don't time. come in like, ones. Yeah, Nothing does really. Maybe. It is a little bit intense there for a few 
Uh, and it certainly is not true with wood. The reasoning behind firing a train kiln is a trade off. At least appears to be controlled by surface. People want a particular surface. They don't really need or want that seven day period of firing. They think, at least. If you don't like midnight, you should be firing with wood. In the sort of traditional seven day Anagama firing, somebody else. people must in some ways need or want that seven day period. And uh, that points to philosophy. And, uh, I think there's no denying it, particularly in pottery, but I, I really think it spreads throughout the arts, throughout everything. But that the arts really are philosophy. That's what people are. They're visual philosophers. They're busy expressing themselves, their philosophies, their thoughts, their ideas, and all these things that they make. But I think that there's a particular truth in anagama firing or some kinds of potters. Uh, Clary Ilian comes to mind. Where the time spent making pots is time that's spent thinking about among other things, reasons to make pots. Uh, why am I doing this, you know? W what makes this different from, say, flipping burgers? Uh, does something make it different from flipping burgers? And I think that uh, people that fire anagamas are giving themselves the space to wind. think while they fire the kilns, maybe in the hopes that this space to think and these ideas and thoughts and all this stuff that happens in your head while you're firing the kiln will come out in the work. And I think people that fire the quicker wood kilns, uh, particularly the train kilns, aren't looking for that space don't see that as an important part of the work or maybe the reality just steps in and says hey I don't have the seven days to fire I would if I could uh, I think in the end though like most things that I talk about um, we're all philosophers and all art is just a recording of philosophy And much as it would be a stretch for me to try to explain it, I have this base belief that sitting in front of the TV set and watching is, in fact, a philosophical statement that uh, takes a long time in life sometimes to uh, come to grips with. And I, I, I don't think that it's always conscious. But I think that, that the motivations for the different kinds of wood firing are so diverse that it's very difficult to grab onto them. Uh, it's certainly true that a lot of people went to wood firing to save money on gas. And um, there are lots of ways to save money. I mean, Dave Shaner saved money by making his own bricks once and uh, quickly learned that that was no real way to save money. And I don't even think the, the, the ones of us that say we're motivated by money are really motivated by money any more than we're motivated by anything else. It comes down to the same thing. There is no one reason for anything. And it's certainly true with wood. There is not one reason to fire with wood. There may be many reasons, uh, all interrelated. Uh, we talk about it all the time, but I, I don't think we really have a clue yet in, in our society as to how tied ceramics is to the East. 
I think even in uh, Europe, even before they knew much about the East, I think that the philosophical connections involved with making ceramics and firing them in kilns and accepting that your control is going to be imperfect. Unless you were born in a place like Nabashima where everything and, uh, is, when you take them apart, they all blend back together. Some other Spode, even in Spode. I mean, look at Mark Hewitt. Uh, I, I just don't think that, that uh, you can be a potter without the in whole idea way, about a video a about wood firing. There has to be some level of going with the flow. But I don't think that you can be a crocheter without that. Or there's an a computer programmer. Or anything else. Uh, it is, as Laurie Anderson says, like sooner or later about architecture. Uh, all ideas turn to mush. Yeah. <laughs> 